Recording in progress. Amen. Praise the Lord, New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. I pray you have made up in your mind, no matter what comes your way, you're going to rejoice and to be glad in it. And we amongst most all people should be the most happy because we have Jesus Christ as our savior. We have the Holy Spirit as our company keeper and our comforter. And we have God Almighty as our heavenly father. Amen. And so we are grateful today just for the relationship we have with God. We also thank God for inviting us to pray. And all month long, we've been praying about producing the fruit of the spirit. And as we do that, today is day number 30. Day 30, and we're going to be reading from Romans chapter 7 and verse number 4. Romans chapter 7 and verse number 4 from the New King James Version of the Word of God. Here's what the Word of God says. Therefore, my brethren, you also have become dead to the law through the body of Christ, that you may be married to another, to him who was raised from the dead, that we should bear fruit to God. Amen. Therefore, my brethren, you also have become dead to the law through the body of Christ, that you may be married to another, to him who was raised from the dead, that we should bear fruit to God. Amen. You know, our relationship with God is described in so many beautiful ways, but one of the ways that God describes our relationship to Jesus Christ is through that of a marriage, that, that we are, as the church of Jesus Christ, the bride of Christ, and that as such, we are married to him, and that the two of us, the body of Christ and Christ, are one, that Christ is in us and we are in him. And as a result of us being married to the Lord, who was raised from the dead, we should bear fruit to God, that um, as the body of Christ, as the bride of Christ, what Jesus wants us to do is bear fruit, bear good works, do good things in the power of the Holy Spirit, that when other people see those good works that we do, see the good things that we do, they don't necessarily praise us, but they praise the God that is in us. They praise the God that is working through us. And so today we want to just simply pray, according to Romans chapter 7 and 4, that we would bear fruit to God. Amen. That we'll bear fruit to God. Come on, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you and bless you and praise you for who you are in our life, God. You are awesome and mighty and wonderful. And you're magnificent and you're glorious and you're holy, Lord. And we just thank you and praise you for who you are. We ask you now to, to look at our life and our lifestyle and to, to see anything that is wrong, Lord, and convict us of our sin. And Lord, as you convict us, we, we ask that we would be humble enough to confess the sins that we've committed. As we confess, Lord, we believe 1 John 1 and 9, that you are faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, Lord. So we thank you for the conviction and the confession and the cleansing that comes through the blood of Jesus. And Lord, we, we thank you for the call upon our life to produce the fruit of the Spirit. And we thank you for Jesus Christ and his total sufficiency. We thank you for his death, his burial, and his resurrection, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we have become dead to the law through the body of Christ. We thank you that we are married to him, that as the body of Christ, Lord, we are the bride of Christ. And since you have raised Jesus from the dead, we too have been raised from our dead situations. And so, God, we pray that in honor of Christ and in, in, re, re, in, in the fact that we have a relationship with him, Lord, that we would, in fact, bear fruit to you. Lord, that we would do good works for you, Lord, that we would do good works in our families, Lord, that we would do good works in the fellowship, that we would do good works in ministry, that we would do good works on our jobs, Lord, that we would do good works in the community, that everywhere we go and any opportunity we have, Lord, we would reflect our relationship with you by doing good works. And Lord, in that process, Lord, other people would see our good works. And they would glorify you as our father, which is in heaven. Lord, we thank you for our relationship. We thank you for making us fruitful. We just praise you and thank you, Lord, for moving in our lives and moving through our lives and producing the fruit of the spirit in our life. 
So, Lord, as we go forward today, Lord, help us to be reminded to be fruitful to you in every good work. And we believe victory in the lives of your people. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Again, today was day number 30. And we pray from Romans chapter 7 and verse 4. Therefore, my brother, you also have become dead to the law through the body of Christ, that you may be married to another, to him who was raised from the dead, that we should bear fruit to God. Go today, bear fruit to God, and I'll be back to pray with you tomorrow. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.